Today I am chatting all about things that I've been enjoying in my little sewing world in the month of February. So if you'd like to hear more, then keep watching. Welcome back to the vlog. This is Susie from Thread Quarters. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I'm in a slightly different setting today because my sewing room that I normally film in is chaos and I don't have time to create a space for filming and um, so I am in my bedroom at the moment sort of old school YouTube style where you sit on the end of the <laughs> on the end of your bed I actually this is one of the reasons why I haven't had a vlog up recently is because um, my husband and I have been um, redecorating this room it had a big damp issue which thankfully I think he was able to fix I say think because it hasn't come back yet but you know damp is never fun anyway so and then we had to redecorate it also but I'm really liking it now it's totally changed it was green it's now blue but loving it so far I'm just gonna jump straight into the um, video today this is my favorites from the world of sewing uh, for February. I did my first version of this um, at the end of January and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I'm not trying to do it again each month, but we shall see. It definitely is a bit tricky because I don't buy tons of new things to um, be able to share this, a whole pile of stuff every month, but maybe that's a good thing. Keeps the videos a bit shorter. Um, so I only really have maybe four things to talk about today, so let's get straight to it. The first thing is a tool. These are all new things to me and definitely a lot of you will have come across them before, um, but perhaps some of you haven't and therefore you might actually find this interesting. So in um, one of my sewing classes, uh, when I teach the um, Stevie by Tilly and the Buttons, um, there is a, a nice tie at the back and I'm sure you guys all know if you're sewing a big loop it can be a nightmare to turn it around um, and in the past for the classes I am just for myself I have just really used a safety pin but it's a real fiddly job and it takes absolutely ages and um, I know there's other ways of doing it like you can sew a little bit of ribbon in and pull that that's another option if you've never tried that it's quite handy as well um, <clears throat> but I had heard about the loop turners that you can get that are like big tubes and a stick that you put through it so I thought I would get them and see if they're any easier oh my goodness they are amazing so I picked up the ones that are by Prim there's lots of different companies make them and it's quite hard to hold them up but this is the fattest one away from my face stop focusing on that come on anyway yeah that's it there right and you would get this sort of bamboo stick you could i reckon you could probably make your own with stra a straw and a bamboo skewer or something like that and um, but there's different thicknesses for different size of loops and you just put the loop over that and then very carefully not to poke a hole in it you just poke your fabric through there and it just sort of turns itself around and it comes in a set of three so there's a medium sized one with the stick and then a teeny tiny one which I haven't tried yet um, for really delicate loops so that's the three there if you have never used one of these and you've struggled with turning um, loops and you know what I mean big long tube of fabric get one of those or fashion your own like I said from a straw and a bit of bamboo skewer or something like that a knitting needle actually um, it's fantastic it literally takes seconds to turn your loop around none of this faffing around um, trying to wriggle the safety pin out no no none of that it's just brilliant <laughs> I really recommend them and I can't believe that I have gone this long in my sewing life without actually owning one of those so that's bad for me but anyway I've changed I've changed okay so that was my one sort of sewing tool that I wanted to share with you that I think is absolutely brilliant and next I just wanted to chat about a um, 
sewing um, website that I use to buy my sewing patterns from and it's called Jaycott's. Um, and it literally, I mean, they, I think they sell other things, ha maybe some haberdashery and sewing machines and things like that, but I've never, I've only ever used it for sewing patterns. They have uh, all the big four and they have Tilly and the Buttons and maybe a couple of other independent ones. So they don't have a lot of independent ones, but if you're wanting your big four, um, they do, uh, mostly they're all the sort of the same price, but some of them are a little bit cheaper than other shops. But it's the postage, the postage. If you buy over, I think, 20 pounds, um, I think, I'll double check if it's wrong, I'll put it down in the description box. But if you spend over 20 pounds, um, your, your postage is free. This is obviously a UK um, situation. You know, I don't know what it's gonna be like posting to other places in the world. So, but just for your, for the UK viewers out there, spend 20 pounds and the postage is free and it's next day delivery and it is astoundingly fast. I'm just really always super, super, super impressed with how quickly the turnaround is for the order. So, you know, you could order it on Monday morning and you'd get your um, patterns on Tuesday in the post. It's brilliant. Um, I've always been very impressed with, with their um, service. And I like 20 pounds when you're buying a few patterns. I would say like maybe three patterns and you're gonna be there with your 20 pounds. So it's not that hard to get to that um, free postage threshold. So yeah, I just um, thought I would flag it up. It's not sponsored or anything like that. I'm quite sure they don't know who I am or anything like that. But um, I just wanted to give a shout out because I'm really, really impressed with how quickly they do their turnaround of their orders. And then I wanted to chat about, um, if we're chatting about favorites for the month of February, uh, my absolute 100% favorites of this month has been my students that just finished their course. They started in January and they finished just before Valentine's Day, I think it was. And um, I had two classes in January, February. One was my evening dressmaking class and the other one was my morning uh, learn to sew baby clothes class. And everyone finished their projects and I was just absolutely so, so impressed with how well everyone did. So I'm gonna put up some pictures because I just, I'm so, so proud of everything everyone's made. So this is the Stevie's. I've only got two, there were three on my class, but only two of them made it to the last class. So unfortunately the last, the last girl, um, I don't have a photo of her finished dress, um, but they all were doing so wonderfully and don't these two just look brilliant. And then I've got some ridiculously cute baby spam for you here. Um, these are the little babies that um, the mummies came along and made little rompers for their kids. And on the last day, we got them all dressed up and took some photos and oh, just so cute. So cute like you know I want a hundred more babies now but I just have to make do with my sewing classes getting my baby fixed that way instead <laughs> so um, yeah congratulations to all those uh, students who came along for those classes I absolutely loved 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 teaching you all and I already have um, loads more classes have started now again and I'm just loving it so much. I have two evening dressmaking classes and two morning baby um, sewing classes. One's for dressmaking or you know baby clothes, the other one's just like little mini projects. If you are local and interested in um, taking one of my classes I'll put the link down below and um, I'll be uh, running the classes again after the Easter holidays so April I think the week is sort of like maybe the 20th of April, something like that. I've got spaces on um, all my classes at the moment. So if you are interested in joining us, then there'll be a link down below for that. But yeah, just so, so, so impressed with um, how my students got on. Well done, guys. And then the very last thing I wanted to share for my favorites in February, nipped in pretty much on the very last day of February, um, I got a parcel in the post and I absolutely wasn't expecting anything, but 
this came from one of my lovely viewers. Um, Joy, if you're watching, hi. I couldn't let this February favourites pass without mentioning your parcel. Thank you so, so much. So, uh, my favourite from February. Next one is the kindness of sort of strangers because I sort of I feel like I know you jo Joy so um yeah just she took she said she was out fabric shopping and she saw some fabric and thought of me and wanted to post it to me now we had already had um communication in the past so she did have my address that way but like I wasn't expecting her to be sending me this so thank you thank you thank you so much Joy so I'm going to show you the fabrics that she sent me and she sent me tons, by the way. You were very naughty sending so much. Right, let's just get it out. It's in no order, as I say. So, um, look at this one here. Look at that. Wow. And then the inside is awesome too, like a darker green. Maybe that's the right side. I, I can't decide, actually. I suppose it's the kind of fabric where you could use either side. Amazing. That one. Then this beautiful, like see the way it's different colors? It is amazing. What is that? Maybe a shantung? Shantung? I don't know. I'm not sure, but beautiful colors. Then this is like a chiffon with a, like a cherry blossom print on it maybe. Would make a beautiful pussy roll blouse. Another chiffon, floral. Lovely for spring. I know there's more. This one, another lovely spring blossom one. This one is on a like a satin, I think. Very pretty. And this one as well. I really like this one actually. Nice colours in that. That's another satin of sorts. And then I've saved this one for last because she's put a spanner in my works for my um, uh, frock tails plans. If you didn't see my video about that where I was chatting about what I was thinking about making for the Belfast frock tails that's coming up in April, which I still haven't started because, you know, I'm really scared to commit. <laughs> uh, I was going to be making something with some red silk that I have, but Joy sent me this with this fraying a bit so ignore the frayed bits look at this yep it's see-through with these amazing flowers and these stripes and it's pretty amazing actually it goes really well with this it was packaged up together with this so I was thinking Joy had thought that they would go well together which they do really nice maybe she was thinking that it could go underneath the stripes like that brings out the lilac in the flowers but i have to admit that i love the deeper shade um i'm all about like really dark rich tones um and i love like the magenta in that and i love the sort of it's ne nearly like a it's it's between a rich blue and a very deep purple sort of it depends on the lighting whether you think it's in the purple or the blue family it's very close but would not make an amazing skirt or something with that layered element to it it would be amazing what do you think what do you think guys if you've seen my frock tails video about what I was planning on making and now you see this which fabric should I use? And if you think I should do this one, what should I make with it? <gasps> ah, please tell me ASAP, because I'm going to have to start, like, now. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much, Joy. That was really, really such a sweet and kind thing to do. I really am blown over by your generosity and kindness. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, you really made my day. It was really lovely. Anyway guys, that is it for my February favourites, um, trying to keep it short and sweet. Um, <laughs> I am just ticking away with my sewing classes and some sewing that I said I would do for a few people um, and I'm trying to get 
bits done but I feel like I don't have an awful lot of things to share with you. Um, I have made two of my make three and three so that's good. I've just got one left and I think I have March to sew it in to be finished in time. Not that there's like a penalty if I don't. Um, I don't know whether I'll get it done. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I have loads of sewing to do and not enough time. <laughs> but anyway, really nice to chat with you guys. Sorry that I was quiet for a couple of weeks, but c'est la vie. I'll try and keep up with the vlogs as much as possible. Um, if you have any requests of anything you'd like to see from me, drop them down below in the comment box and I will try my best to um, film it for you. If you like this kind of video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe if you're new around here. I'm all about sewing chat and sharing my makes and um, tutorials and little things like that. So if that is your kind of thing, then subscribe and um, maybe hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my next video. And until that time, see you guys later. Bye.